Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dev here and today I'm going to be showing you a video about the plan region feature in Revit. So you might have an example in your building where you have um, a step in either your levels or the floor offsets, they're either going up or down and your plans might not be displaying correctly, right? So if I go to my floor plan here, you can see that everything on the left hand side is displaying correctly. However, on the right hand side, our windows and doors aren't cutting at the levels that we'd expect and I can't actually see my furniture. I'm going to show you how we can use the plan region feature so we can make it show like this as if everything was cut on one continuous cut plane and it displays correctly architecturally right for our plan drawings. I'm going to show you why this happens. I'm going to show you how to fix it. If you guys do learn something new, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like and let's get into it. So here's our example of our building where we have two floors. One is at an elevation of zero and the other one is at an elevation of minus 800, right? So it's sunken floors. You can see here that we have um, a door that's also set to elevation zero furniture on this level as well as windows at a regular sill height of 1200. Then as we move down to this level, down from stairs, we have an offset of this floor at minus 800. And then the windows and the doors and the furniture respectively is also at minus 800, right? So in 3D, you know what we're looking at. If we go to our plan view, this is where you might see some problems arise. So in our plan view, you can see that we've got a spot elevation to show a difference in levels. This is something that's quite common in practice, by the way. So if you're a student and you don't know how to show this, all you need to do is go to the annotate tab and then you need to click on spot elevation, double click there, double click there, and now you can see what the elevation is of that floor. So you can see on the left side of our building, everything is displaying correctly, right? Our doors and windows are cutting as they should. Our furniture is showing. However, on the right hand side where we have everything offset by minus 800, we can see that our windows aren't displaying correctly, neither is our door, and we can't see our furniture. So the reason why this happens, and this is because it's a view range problem of our view in Revit. Okay, so if I click on level zero, because this is the view we're on, and if I go down here to the view range and I hit edit, I want to explain something to you guys. Here, we can see that our view is cutting level zero at an offset of 1500, right? This is how views, this is how views work in Revit. They're not cutting, um, they're actually cutting the level that they're hosted on, and they're cutting continuously at 1500. So if I go to a section here, we can easily see why this is happening or why these elements are displayed the way they are. So if I click on this section, go to view, you can see here that this line is 1500 mil above level zero and it's cutting our doors correctly and our windows correctly and the view range this is one thing i'll set the view range is actually set to level zero and this is why we can see our furniture as we go along to the right hand side we can see that our cut plane is cutting just a bit above our windows and just a bit above our door right and in terms of view range we can see that we're just about not getting our furniture and um, yeah, this is why we can't see it. So if we go to level zero here, you can see it kind of makes sense, right? We can see the sills of the windows, but we can't see our furniture. Um, we're just cutting a bit above it and our view range is only going down to a specific level. So some fixes you might have, or some fixes you might try is editing the view range where you say, okay, let me make the view depth unlimited or minus 800 below. So if we make both of these unlimited, we should see our furniture, which is correct. Okay, now if we make our cut plane 800 below so we can see this side if I make this 700 here you can see that actually we do fix the wind we do fix the um, graphics on the right side of a building for the sunken level but we mess up everything on the left hand side in terms of the windows this isn't the correct way to do it so if I hit cancel and I undo what we need to do is we need to create a secondary cut plane for this view around the right hand side of the building and how we do that is we go to the view tab in Revit Go to plan views and go to plan region. Now what we want to do is we just want to create a kind of scope around the area that we want to have a secondary cut plane for. So here I'm just going to go on that and hit tick. If you can't see this on your view, make sure you turn it on in terms of annotation categories. So press VV or VG on your keyboard. And here if I go to annotation categories and I just want to make sure plan region is turned on, right? So when we click on plan region here, we can either um, edit in two places. We can click, we can edit it on the property browser here where it says plan region, edit. Or we, can, or we can click on the top here where it says view range. So essentially what this plan region does is it allows us to create a secondary um, view range within the view. So here, if I go to view range, and if I make this one minus 800, or sorry, these are the default values for everything that's in the view. And I don't wanna make this one minus 800. I wanna make everything 800 below the default values. So because this is zero, I want this to be minus 800. This one to be minus 800. This one should be 700. And here, this should be 1500. If I hit OK now, you can see that our plan view or the elements within this um, side of our plan is showing correctly. Now, 
The reason why this happens is because if I go back to my section, I've actually gone back and drawn like a diagram here. So this is what we're cutting by default, as I've explained. When we have a plan region, if I just reset here, you can see that what we're doing essentially is we're saying, okay, everything outside the plan region, so here and here, if I go to my section, we want our regular view range, which is what our view was using here. I've just offset it a bit below so we can see it a bit more. And then whenever we have a plan region, we want to step down or step up, whichever your plan region is using, whatever settings you're using, and create a secondary cut plane just for what's ever inside this plan region, right? So this one I've said, make everything minus 800 below in terms of the cut, in terms of the cut and the view range. So if I go down, you can see that we're cutting our windows now and we're cutting our door, but also I've extended the view range to be minus 800 below. So it wasn't just like that. I'm saying, okay, you, in terms of the view range, you also go down by 800. So now we can see the furniture. And this is essentially how view ranges work. You're just creating a secondary um, view range inside the plan region, and then you're able to see what's going on, right? So if I go here to level zero, one thing I want to explain is that sometimes families uh, act differently. So you have a wall, which is a system family, and you have a furniture, which is a loadable family. So if I click on plan, if I click on the plan region here, if I go back, you can see that if I extend this a bit more, you can see that we're cutting the wall exactly to the line where our plan region is, right? But look what happens the moment we cut our sofa. The moment we just go a little bit over the sofa, you can see that it shows. This is one thing you want to keep in mind, whereas um, sometimes you might have to um, literally um, make sure the whole element is within your plan region, or sometimes you might have to make sure it just um, touches it and it will display correctly. Uh, if this is a problem, what you can do is you can just make a different boundary here. You know, you can make it as you need, so you can do something like that. Say if you want to avoid stair or include it, but that's just one thing I want you guys to know um, in terms of plan regions that sometimes you might have to cut something entirely, sometimes you might not. And one thing I want to let you guys know about this method is that if you're a student or you're working on a, you know, a small scale project in Revit, um, plan regions are essentially fine, right? Um, they're quite easy to use and they're easy to manage. However, if you're working on a larger sized project or you're working with Revit links, this isn't the best approach because one thing you guys need to know is that they are view specific, right? So I'm going to explain something here is that I've got a view template applied to my plan view. Say if I duplicate this or if I create a new level zero, whatever it is, um, if I now say, if I edit the view range here and I make this view range, I don't know, instead of 700, I make this 200, you can see that even though these two views here have the same view template, right? They are going to show completely different things. And this is where it can get messy in projects where say if you end up moving this floor, so instead of making it minus 800, you made it um, minus 1000, you then have to go and update the plan region for each view, or you'd have to then copy and paste it for each view. It's not the best way to work. I mean, and like I said, on a small scale project, this is definitely, this is definitely fine, especially if you're a student, but there are smarter ways to work. So keep this in mind. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to be releasing a video on my channel soon, and this is going to be looking at linked views, why they're really good, why you should have actual buildings within links, um, the benefits to it, and controlling view ranges smarter that way. So yeah, I recommend you stay tuned for that and watch it when it's out. So guys, if you did find this video helpful, I would like, as I mentioned before, I would very much appreciate it if you can leave a like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Take care.